if you want to implement a weapon to a character's hand, uh, the main thing that you're going to need to use is uh, parent constraint control. And you're basically going to attach it to this wrist right over here on the controller. And again, this can be a sword, um, this can be a hammer, it can be an axe, whatever it is you want. Um, but just make sure that it is set up um, to be at a 90 degree angle. Um, even if your character, if you upload your character, and let's say your character is in an A pose, like this, you're still going to want your weapon to be at a 90 degree angle like this. So the next thing you're going to want to do is um, go ahead and don't be afraid to use the different um, panels to kind of make it easier to move the weapon in hand. And I'm just going to move the weapon like so. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time uh, making it perfect but um, this is also a very important thing that I may not have mentioned to you guys already uh, once you get your your weapon in place one thing that you're definitely going to want to do is select your weapon and select all of these attributes and make sure you freeze all that's basically going to zero out all of that data and it's going to make it significantly easier to um, to basically prevent Maya from crashing because there's less data on said asset. Um, if you end up manipulating the size or changing the size of your weapon, one thing that you might also want to do is um, go to edit, delete by type, non-deformer history. You're going to select that, and it basically deletes all of the um, all of the data of you manipulating said object. So again, one less thing to worry about. So the next thing you want to do is, um, if you want to move your fingers in place first, that's also good too. But for the sake of time, I am going to just immediately link this to this wrist, and I'm going to create a locator. I'll create. I'm going to locator. I'm going to move said locator again right to the wrist to make it easier. I'm going to change the view so I can directly move where I want my locator to be. Resize it. And now what I want to do is I want to select the pole and then select the locator. And because I select the locator last, I want that to be the parent. So I'm going to press the P key. Press P. So now when I select the locator, the locator also selects the weapon. And if I move the locator, it also moves the weapon. And uh, this is the next thing that's going to be kind of difficult because I it takes trial and error for me. You're going to select the, I believe it's the locator last. But you select the wrist controller, you hold down shift select the locator for the weapon, and then you're going to go to rigging right up here. Go to constrain, parent, click on the box, you're going to click on add. And now, hopefully, when I move the wrist controller, yes, when I move the wrist controller, it also moves the weapon. And now when I move the entire body, it also moves with the wrist. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just really quickly um, rotate the fingers. And there you go. Now you have a weapon in hand. Uh, move them around. And it's not going to matter uh, how or where you move your character because the wrist controller has already been set and now you don't have to worry at all. The wrist will always be parented um, and the weapon will always move and rotate with your character like so. And that's it.
So hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, again, I'm going to save this, make it into a video, and it'll be up on the Titania website for you guys to use. Okay? Awesome.